Hello once again guys, it is your boy NeverKill2K12 here, and I'm here with some more Rome to War online commentary. Yes I am, and as you can see I am playing as the Dacians, and my opponent, I do not recall his name, but I will either tell you or you will see at the end, is playing as the Spain, as the Spain, They play, he's playing as the Spaniards, so, uh, for my army, on the front ranks I have six gold gold chosen swordsmen and then behind them I have two archer warbands I believe uh, yeah one is gold silver and one is gold gold and then behind them I have a unit of gold gold flaxmen uh, I don't even know how you pronounce that so I'll just let you guys see the name if you can see it and then behind them I have three units of barbarian noble cavalry gold gold and I have one general's armored bodyguard Oh, sorry, Barbarian Chosen Warlord, my bad guys, which is also gold gold. And then I have a unit of Scythian Mercenaries, which is Horse Archers, and I believe they are gold gold as well. Let's take a look at my opponent's army, shall we? His name is Vassi. Vassi. He is from Portugal, because um, I was talking to him. He has on the front three units of Balearic Slingers, and then he has two units of Longshield Cav on this side. Uh, you can take a look at the upgrades there. He has three upgrades on each. He has two more uh, long shield cav on this side. He has one, two, three, four, five, six units of bull warriors, and they all have around two. Up yeah, they all have two upgrades on. And then back here, he has a general's armored bodyguard with absolutely no upgrades on whatsoever. <laughs> so the battle kicks off. I do notice he has a big advantage in the missile department. So I do rush my guys up, my archers are going to be firing at this We're unit here. Attack! As you can see that guy just dropped from his horse. <laughs> so seeing that I've rushed up, he is making sure I do not attack his Balearic Slingers. So he's going to rush in for a, for a attack. I'm going to go into war cry mode. But I didn't realise they had Peeler. So yeah, I'm going to get a shower with Peeler. Um, I'm going to move my Phalanx one over here. I'm going to move my Scythian Mercenaries over here. Basically, what I use these was uh, these guys for. I just use them to distract this cav. So let's carry on. Let's have a look at this fight, shall we? So my bull warriors and his chosen sword. Um, my oh my god, his bull warriors and my chosen swordsmen. There we go. And now going at it. So now I realise this cav is undefended, so I'm going to go after it. It is only light cavalry, so I did have a. Well, I did have confidence that I was going to be here because mine is heavy cavalry. And there we go, that unit route straight away. As you can see, that unit was the unit I was firing my missiles at, and it was quite, it was incredibly depleted before I even engaged it. As you can see, all the dead bodies are over there. Right, so I did route one of the... I'm not sure, in fact, I'm not even sure what this unit was doing, but I do eventually turn it, yeah, turn it around, it's going to smack this one or this one from behind. So now... You can see my chosen swords when they're coming around the back of these guys. Um, I did engage his cavalry with my cavalry, but he did beat it because he did have a unit of bull warriors and his he had his general and two units of round shield cav to back him up. As you can see, I have routed this unit. So he's going to go after my archers right now. I'm going to pull my general out of there because I did not want my general to die. As you can see, there's a big fight going on here. He's just trying to sandwich me in, but we are routing these units slowly but surely. So his cavalry did stop, so I do get a charge in. As you can see, that caused a mass route, and his general is going to get away. So, you know, his slings, are, I do believe, are still firing. Yep. But they are hitting his own guys as well, so I wasn't too bothered about that. As you can see, he's hitting his bull warriors. He did route one of my chosen swordsmen. But I'm still in the fight, so no worries. At this point, I was well, I was quite worried with this mass of men. But I didn't realise I did have all these men around here. So he goes in for a charge. And I do believe I attack his general with my cav eventually. <laughs> so I'm going to move these swordsmen up. So they're just going to march along. They look really cool actually, don't they? Just marching like that. 
You can see my archers are firing above their heads. They're firing up the general. So now they're going running for the charge. While they're getting pelted with rocks. You can see I am firing fire arrows at the general. I don't think I even inflict one casualty. I do believe that was friendly fire. These slingers did kill one of the general's bodyguard. So here enemy we go, there's a mass rock. And I've just slain the enemy general. Is dead. Slain by your brave warrior. Uh, a dead this general is always a smells good. Victory. The cries of there dying we go. enemies are My sweet opponent just submitted to defeat. Our that was a very good battle. The rules were CWB barbarian factions only. And I think it was one of my viewers said he doesn't use Dacia. I uh, it was I think it was on one of his videos. He said he doesn't use Dacia cuz Dacia are rubbish. So, I've just proved you wrong. <laughs> um yeah. So I hope you guys like that. Um remember to comment, subscribe if you haven't. We've got a lot of content coming out. Um I do have some things planned. I will run this by you now though guys. I am thinking of doing an Elder Scrolls Oblivion playthrough. Um, I think that be, could be quite good just because uh, my internet connection isn't always the best. So whenever it is playing up, I could do some Oblivion. Because that is a big single player game so I could probably get a good amount of hours into that and then just release in separate episodes so let me know what you guys think about that I mean I don't have to it is an option um, I would like to give it a try so if you guys like that you know drop a comment uh, let me know your support and you know as always you guys remember to like this video um, as I always say likes do help me out a hell of a lot um, it just gives me pure motivation to keep on making these videos for you so you know if you do want me to keep making videos like this video you know and if you have any suggestions uh, so if you say if you don't like something that I'm doing, you know, constructive criticism is always welcome, as I have said from the beginning. Um, and I think that might be about it. Uh, yeah, so I would like to arrange some battles with my viewers. I know some of you have commented to have some battles with me, but I haven't really arranged anything. So if you do want a battle, give me an inbox, and I will sort that out this week. And I would love to have the video of my me against my viewers up. Uh, around this weekend so yeah uh, drop me an inbox if you would like to face me and remember guys let me know what you think about me doing Elder Scrolls Oblivion I would love to do it I adore that game um, yeah and that's it so thank you for watching guys remember drop a like and also you need to remember which campaign would you like me to do would you like it vanilla would you like it a mod rock faction so I'll see you later guys uh, take it easy you know have a good one bye